Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today we have a Goodwill outlet, otherwise known as the Goodwill Bins Thrift Haul. I went last night and I was able to find 26 items total, uh, 23 to resell, so I will be keeping three for myself and I paid $37.80 total. So if you divide that out by the 23 items that I will be reselling, my average cost of goods came out to $1.64 per item. So that's a fantastic cost of goods. It's very low and especially with what I was able to find, I'm very happy with this haul. So let's go ahead and get into it. I will just quickly show you the three pieces that I picked up for myself. I think that's kind of fun to show I don't typically show it, but I have everything together. So this is We The Free, it's a free people little v-neck, just kind of casual slouchy top. I don't have a lot of just plain white tees in my closet, and so I figured I would grab that. Next is just a pair of lounge shorts, these are just from H&M. I can't tell if they're brown or like a plum color. But either way, I like them. I also need more lounge shorts. And then lastly, you guys know I love hats. I thought this was so cute. It's a bad hair day. So you will most likely, you will definitely be seeing this in future videos. David and Young is the brand. Okay, getting into stuff to resell now. I did find one bag. However, it is in pretty rough condition. It is made well. It's their drawstring uh, transport tote is the style name basically like a bucket bag um, and this is in pretty rough shape like I said I will leather condition it I did still want to get it though because it has all of the accessories it has the long strap still attached and I mean there's no real issues with like the drawstring feature to it there's no rips or tears to the leather. So I think it will definitely still sell for at least $30. It does retail for around 200 and it is from 2018. So it's not, you know, just years and years old, but yeah. So, uh, for, you know, a dollar, what did I say? A dollar 60 cents. Let me see. Yeah. A dollar 64. I mean, I could not pass that up. Next we have a belt. I thought this was so cool. I need to get this listed while rodeo is still happening. It is a genuine leather black belt with these like turquoise circular studs going around and then like silver studs at the edge. It has the D-ring closure and there was just one little tag that says size large genuine Italian leather. So I thought that was super cool. That'll probably sell for around 30. Last kind of accessory is this scarf from Lily Blitzer. I think this is brand new and it is a silk and cashmere blend. So definitely a pretty high quality little scarf here. It has turtles, very uh, true to the Lily Blitzer brand. And it did still have a tag barb on it, which kind of made me think that it is very new. Well, I can't, of course I can't find, oh, here it is. Okay. Yeah. 51% silk, 49% cashmere. And then this little tag looks like it was holding the brand tag. So yeah, happy to find that. This was so lightweight. I probably paid for that individually, like 75 cents maybe. And I would say it would resell for around 35 or 40 if I had to guess. Next we have a tried and true free people size extra small sweater. It's just a brown sweater and it has kind of a drop shoulder. This was a good fabric content, which is why I picked it up. It also did not look shrunk at all. 35% alpaca, also has, oh, no wool, just alpaca. But I mean, a lot of people love alpaca. It's definitely a higher tier fabric. So had to grab that. Speaking of higher tier fabrics, we have Smart Wool. I absolutely love finding this brand. 
Same kind of thing with Icebreaker. Um, oh, what is that other? It's Icebreaker Smart Wool. It's at the tip of my tongue. I can envision the logo. It's Ibex. Ibex brand, Smart Wool, and Icebreaker. They are all definite Bolo brands. I showed you the tag. This is a size small, and this is like a teal quarter zip pullover lightweight sweater. It is, I'm sure, a merino wool. Yeah, 100% merino wool. This will probably sell for, I would guess, around $50. These are really expensive retail, and they hold their resale value pretty well. They're also a very like practical piece. People wear them you know, out in the wintertime, and they'll wear them as base layers to stay warm. Next, we have a sundry size one, which is equivalent to a size small. Little graphic t-shirt. I just thought this was cute. This was probably sold at Anthropology. This brand sometimes is, but not always. This will probably sell, I would say like 18 to 22-ish. We have a men's piece. This is Robert Graham. And this is definitely not the most sought after style of piece from the brand Robert Graham. I would say that would be like the button down shirts that have the flip cuff at the wrist it, with like a very vibrant wrist cuff when you fold it. This on the other hand is 100% linen and it's a size 2XL so I did want to get it because the brand is very expensive and I have sold a shirt similar to this in my men's closet for around $40, I wanna say. Next, back to women's clothing. These are Topshop jeans. They have a button fly, and they are a dad style of jean, which is very trendy. They have the distressed knees, high rise, manufactured whiskering, and some fading. They look very lived in, which is definitely something that will help them sell. So this is the, the tag, Top Shop, and it just says dad under Top Shop. Waist is 26 and then they're 66 centimeters. I do take all my measurements in inches, so I will include that. But yeah, I think these will sell really well for probably, I'm not sure, I don't know if I've ever sold Top Shop denim before, but with how trendy those are, I would guess around 30, maybe 35-ish. Next, we have a James Percy a little mini skirt. This isn't a size four, which I believe is extra large in this brand. Uh, I do need to wash this. It just has some lint on it. It's a ruched mini skirt, and I used to sell this brand all the time because I used to find it all the time. I feel like I don't really find it that often. I would like to because it has always sold very well for me. So I was happy to see this. I wasn't sure how well mini skirts did, so I just did a quick comp search at the bins, and I think it was like $30 to $50, so I definitely wanted to grab this. It's in excellent condition. It's that really soft, stretchy, it's probably a modal blend. Feels very high quality. It's cotton and lycra. So it's that soft, stretch jersey knit. Next, another pair of bottoms. This was a really exciting find. These are new with tags, Spanx sculpt leggings. So they rolled out a new bin and they yelled go and everything was just flying everywhere. And I just kind of saw this tag up in the air and I immediately reached for them. I think they might be like an ankle length. I will have to measure the inseam, but I mean, these probably retailed, I would guess, for around $100 or a size medium. So very excited to find those. Next, we have a brand that I have never found or sold before, Gerard Darrell. But there were several clues that kind of tipped me off that this re retails for quite a bit. Uh, it does have the word Paris on the tag. It's also a tacked on tag. So if you know, that just means that the corners are tacked on as opposed to the tag being secured all the way around. That is a sign of quality, or it can be. Um, I also could feel the material and could tell that it was 
higher quality. It is 90% wool, 10% cashmere. And also just by this print. It just looked like kind of a high class print to me. It's a very cool cheetah novelty print on a solid gray background. And this had no holes, no pilling. It really looked like it had never been worn before. And it does look like it resell or retails for quite a bit, around a couple hundred dollars. I think it's sold at places like Bloomingdale's and higher end department stores. So yeah, I'll probably list that at least for $50. I think it's it will do especially well with that novelty print. Next we have a Vint sweater. This is their older tag, which I do kind of try to stay away from, but you know, at the bins for $1.60, I'm not going to leave uh, a sweater like this behind. If, you know, it had flaws, I would have left it, but it looked honestly brand new. Again, no holes, no pilling. The fabric content was good, 70% wool, 30% cashmere. It's in a neutral navy color and it has the double V neckline. So happy to find this for sure. This will probably still sell for, I would say 30 to $40. Another men's piece, J. Crew Performance, size medium. I initially kind of threw this into my bag because the material just felt really nice. And when I kind of looked it over a few minutes later, I saw that it was new attacks. So I for sure wanted to get it. It did retail for $45 originally. And I think it will just be a really nice kind of basic work shirt for someone, work polo. Goodwill originally wanted $12.99 for it. They put it in their boutique section when it was uh, before, when it was selling at the regular Goodwill store before it was moved to the outlet. Okay, next I found a little pajama set that I thought was so cute. It is by the brand Kate Spade and it's in a size extra large. So that is the brand tag there. It's kind of like a scribbled polka dot print. It has black contrast piping. And again, this looked brand new. There was absolutely no like wash wear or anything on this. And finding both pieces at the bins was kind of a miracle. So I for sure had to get this. Has pockets, it's so soft. I wonder what this, okay, this is a modal blend, cotton modal. The top is an extra large and then the pants are a size large. Next we have a pair of shorts from Abercrombie and Fitch. I am going to start stocking up as much as I can on shorts, sandals, linen, all things spring and summer. I thought these were cute with the contrast shadow pocket and back and the uh, fading, fraying, whiskering. They do have a button fly. They're a size four or 27. And Abercrombie has definitely been making a little bit of a comeback. It's been on TikTok. I think the younger crowd has been really liking it. But honestly, people my age, I just turned 29, are also seeming to really like it. I know I am personally. They have a really good jean selection, I would say. Next we have another men's piece. I usually don't find this much men's stuff, but I was just hitting the jackpot. This is Brooks Brothers. It's a size large. And I wanted to get this because it's 100% linen. It had absolutely no signs of wear. It's a really nice tan color. And I mean, it's just a great piece. I'm sure this was so incredibly expensive, at least, you know, $200, $250. It has an inner pocket. Again, this will be great for spring, summer. If you have a, an outdoor wedding and you need a jacket to wear, I do love listing over in my men's closet. I have mentioned it a million times, but pieces over there usually sell for either full price or very close to full price. And so it's just such a breeze listing and selling over there. I mean, it is in my women's closet as well, but it's very hassle-free, I would say, to just list it and forget it in my men's closet. Okay, next up we have a pair of Fabletics leggings. I usually skip 
Fabletic stuff mainly because the size tags are usually missing, but this one still had the size tag. These are a medium. They are also the power hold line and they did have some details at the bottom hem. So I figured with all of that happening, I would go ahead and grab these. They do seem really high quality. They seem like they're really, they would really support you. Um, and they also have no signs of wear. So we love that. I originally threw this into my cart because I thought it was cute and I thought maybe I would try it on and keep it, but I didn't love the way it fits. So it has a smocked bodice and then sheer sleeves and an all over polka dot print. I just thought it was really pretty and feminine and would be flattering. This is the brand. So I might take this to Play-Doh's or I might just list it in my closet for like 10 to $15. It is a size small. We have a little kind of graphic t-shirt here. It is from Soul Angeles. This brand is sometimes sold at Anthropology. They do a lot of like graphic t-shirts that are really soft and comfortable. This one is a size large. It's a pocket tee and the pocket says all good. So I thought that was cute. Again, probably like $20, $25. This pair of pants, I was very happy to see. I have sold this brand once in the past and it sold within like an hour of being listed for I want to say 45 40 to $50 the brand is brightly twisted it's made in USA these are size small these are very similar to the pants that I sold in the past they have an all-over tie-dye print wide leg and then slits like three-fourths of the way up the pant very beachy, very boho. So yeah, I'll add a ton of keywords into these. And I'm expecting, again, probably $40 to $50. They're a viscose spandex blend, so very soft and stretchy. Oh, this was another good find, Tyler Bowie. This brand is very hit or miss. I think they have one dress that is very popular. I Again, I have sold that dress in the past, and it sold instantly for like $50. Um... This obviously is not a dress. It is a, but I probably would have picked this up if it had no brand. And so, you know, just the fact that it is a pretty expensive brand name that just kind of elevates it even further. But this is a faux suede button down shirt jacket. And it's just really high quality. I would totally wear this myself. I will also add rodeo as a keyword into this. Uh, also boho, contemporary, minimalist. This is definitely like a closet staple and it's just really well made. Uh, you could wear that so many different ways. Okay, our last couple pieces here. J. Crew Factory. I don't always get J. Crew Factory, but this had a lot of sellable features to it. First off, it's a size large. Second, it has a pineapple novelty print, which is very spring summer vibes. It's pretty lightweight. It was in excellent condition, and I just thought it was really cute. And our very last piece is also a men's item. It is Billy Reed. This is for sure a bolo men's brand. It retails for a ton. This is a size large, 100% linen button-down shirt. So again, great for spring, summer. It has contrast cream buttons. Just feels extremely high quality. It also has roll tab sleeves, so you have that option. Very beachy and yeah, just a great closet staple. So that is absolutely everything for my bins haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. I am going to try to start doing hauls more frequently just so that the videos don't take me so long and I can just kind of, uh, you know, not make it such a big thing. So let me know your thoughts on that, having shorter hauls but more frequent. I always love hearing y'all's feedback and thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys soon. Bye y'all.